Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video, and it's a, a vlog type video, and it's going to be the last vlog on my gaming channel. Now this video is going to be posted on my new vlogging channel, and my main gaming channel. Uh, this is just telling you guys, I don't even know, just what, what I'm doing right now. So, uh, the date today is October 7th, 2019, and... I've been doing a lot of stuff recently this past week. You know, I was supposed to go to this trip to Reno. I didn't go, but I still made the best of my time here. Um, I started a TikTok. Like, if you guys want to see some cringe, like meme culture, that is something I suck at is meme culture. TikTok. It, it, I have a lot of fun making the TikToks, but I know deep down that it's kind of cringy. But, you know, uh, I had a lot of fun with TikTok. I'm going to probably be making some TikToks just because I like it. I like it. It's a cool form of content. And I started posting more on Instagram. Not as much as I would, you know, expect, but yeah. But yeah, so I have this uh, new YouTube channel. It's vlogging. It's going to be all this stuff that I do in my life that I decide to put on it. You know, I'm going to open up a little bit more. I'm gonna talk about... Uh, eBay flipping, you know, I learned how to, do, how to do some selling on eBay from my dad, so I'm going to eBay flip, attempt to again, you know, if it works, it works, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, you know, I have Christmas presents for everyone, and I, I've lived, you know, going from the attic where I lived to this house definitely makes me appreciate open space more, so... You know, in that attic, it was very cramped. Like, you guys see this kind of, like, wall right here? Like, that would be, in the attic, the only wall that doesn't have a bunch of stuff on it. Like, you guys see that bookshelf in the background? All the walls would be, like, that bookshelf, just all there. No windows. I mean, two windows, basically. That's the only place there wasn't stuff. And, you know, in this open house now, it feels so much nicer, man. Like, I feel like I'm that guy that would buy a big house just for the open space like i might do that just have a room it's my nothing room it's just my room <laughs> my oh my god put it in the basement it's just my room it's got nothing in it so anyways uh gonna do that because uh for my old room i empty emptied out some shelf plastic shelf things that you can move around and the stuff that i'm ebaying well is is small so it's pretty convenient, so I'm doing that. Uh, martial arts, I like martial arts. I'm gonna do that too, just talk about it, you know, what it's like, I guess. What it's like, some stuff I'm doing. <laughs> stuff that I don't consider top secret. Because I do compete, and um, I think it'd be really cool, because I just started training uh, for full contact. And where I come from... You know, we usually train for light to moderate contact and you get penalized for excessive contact. Well, in these new tournaments that I'm going for, you have to hit hard enough. They have sensors in the gear and you have to hit hard enough to score points and you can knock out. So it'd be cool to have a video that just said I got knocked out and it, it's a replay of me getting knocked out. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, you know, I'm not doing full contact though because uh, I'm not doing it for the, how should we say, the showmanship and the... I am a man, and I must be able to fight. I'm doing it more for the experience. If I like it, I'm going to stick with it. If I don't like it, I'm not going to stick with the full contact stuff, you know? Just just what it is. Give it some time. Uh, I've been training a lot more, so... Uh, excellent, by the way. TikTok, excellent. Little tiny videos of me doing some random moves is awesome TikTok content. I can make some pretty cringy stuff out of it without even trying. So there's that, and then uh, I may vlog about my kittens, you know. The kitten content fits better in TikTok and Instagram, but I might make a video about it. You know, I like my kittens, and my, my other cats, and my girlfriends, but we all feel like a family here. And then just, I might vlog about some random thing that I try, you know. I mean, it's only, I'm only 20 years old, almost 21, actually. Uh, I can say I'm a fake old man, that's what I tell people. 20 and up, you can be a fake old person. You can tell a kid you're old at 20, and they're like, oh! <gasps> Oh, whoa. Yeah. Uh, so that's what I'm doing. So the Life of Pacific channel is where the vlogs are going. Um, my 
we'll call it casual vlog series that I don't number anymore. Uh, it's going to go there. I'm just going to make eBay and martial arts and vlog vlogs. I'll probably talk about, uh, not tips about running a YouTube channel, but my experience running a YouTube channel. Because with four years, you know, being in school and not having a job, being in school and having a job, not being in school and not having a job, and now not being in school and having a job, working out, like, I've been in a lot of different places and still made content, different types of content, tried out different platforms. I think it'd be cool, you know. I, I thought a lot about what I want to do, and the more and more I've thought about what I want to make, it it's less and less about, like, the audience, making a big audience, you know, because that's what I, th I thought for a long time. I, I wanted a big audience because the big audience, you know, I could post a YouTube video and, you know, make some money off of it. And I could post, you know, 30 YouTube videos in a month and be able to live off of it. Uh, but more and more I think about it, it's like, I don't want that to be the case so much anymore. I would rather learn how to sell on eBay. I mean, it'd It'd be one of those things where, oh, it happened. Yay, I can now flip, you know? It's like, like right now, right, I work at Walmart. If tomorrow I could tell that I could, I don't know, quit my job or something like that, then it would be like, oh, okay, cool. It's a cool bonus, you know? It's not the main thing, it's a bonus. So yeah, there might be Walmart stories on the second channel too, but yeah, just two channels, you know, it's nice because it'll keep things organized, and I'm going to try out a new different type of content model where, not content model, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, but to make myself more productive, uh, I used to have this thing where it was kind of like, I would sit down and be like, okay, I have this much time, I can make, let's just say, one YouTube video or five TikToks, you know. I want to do five TikToks today. I'd make two, get tired, not make them, be like, well, I can't make a YouTube video anymore. But now it's going to be more like, okay, I want to make, I want to record nine YouTube videos, right? Let's just say that. That's actually what I'm doing right now, is sitting down and recording nine YouTube videos. If I sit down and record six right now, then the next time I decide to start making content, I will sit down and record the other three. And then... Maybe begin work on a TikTok or something like that, you know. I'm going to try that out, see how it works. I think it'll fit well because then it's easy to... It's easier for me because if you think about it, now anyways, I have four social media platforms and another project at work at martial arts. I have two, basically two martial arts projects, four social media projects, and of course the rest of life. You know, I think that will help help me uh, make stuff because now it's like I I've noticed that even though my content is getting less views and less uh, everything, except for ad revenue because it's getting close to Christmas, I noticed that if I just sit there and I'm like, I want to make a TikTok and I make a TikTok, the result of wanting to make five TikToks instead of one YouTube video, even though I haven't posted a YouTube video in a month, that result of five TikToks, the content to me is better than that one YouTube video because I need to, you know? So, to, yeah, that that's, that's my thing for it. Just kind of following my instincts more. And that's what I've done uh, over the past probably, I don't know, three months? Maybe not so much three months, but followed I've been following my instinct more and what I noticed is if I follow my instinct right whether it's in a conversation uh, managing my life solving a problem filming a video I noticed that if I do something right it, it's easy to be like okay what what's the next thing and if I do something wrong it, it's easier to fix the problem right like for me it's like I want to eBay flip if I noticed that for some reason I should stop eBay flipping. Then it's like, well, you know what? It, 
I wanted to and I didn't. You know, it's so much easier to be like that, you know, this instinct of I was going to eBay flip and now I'm not. Then, okay, it's tactical to eBay flip and now I'm becoming undisciplined and all these reasons when it's really just I don't want to do it. You know, I think right now I'm trying to find something, something or change the way, right, because I'm finding new things and also changing the way I do YouTube that I want to do it. You know, because if you want to do it, you're going to do more. So uh, that's really my thing. Um, that's really what this video is about is I'm kind of changing things up a little bit. And I would say I had some lines in the sand, boundaries that I was trying to work within, and they didn't work. They, they sucked. Like, I should have made, looking back on it, the reason why I made the second channel was I'm collabing with someone, and they suggested it, and it took them telling me, not the audience, which should have been honest. Honestly, the audience was right in this situation. Like, I should have made a second channel a while ago. It would have been made my life so much easier making content, you know? But it's like, now it's like, okay, you learn that. Next thing. You know, it's like, I'm not going to be like, mm, I wasted two years without having a second channel or whatever. It's like, well, you learned the thing. Continue on with the thing. Uh, so that's all I really have for this video. My house smells like bacon because I cooked bacon. Uh, yeah. So if you guys want to see me make any specific kinds of videos, feel free to tell me in the comments below. That's something I'm going to do more of is taking an audience-based idea and then taking and putting my own spin on it. That's something I haven't done very well at, and that's a skill I want to get better at. So launch me a video idea. If I can afford it because it's free or it's a cheap game, I'm going to do it. And if it's not, then I'm not. So yeah, uh, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Thank you all for sticking around the channel. It's nice to still see that even though I can't post three videos a day, right? I can post like three videos a week now. It, it's it's nice to come back and it's almost like you have this family and you leave and everyone understands why you left and they stuck with you. That was really powerful. And I didn't expect that. And I'm really grateful that it happened where I'm I'm I mean I left and came back and and I didn't have to provoke the audience and make a video like hey I'm back and everyone was just kind of like oh he's back he's safe you know it was crazy for me because the audience you know you guys that that watch a lot you know who you are and I recognize names you know I don't remember names specifically but I recognize them it's like you didn't care what videos I made, you want to make sure that I was okay and that when I came back, it wasn't like I owe the audience something. It was like, you want to come back. And I've, I don't think I've had that experience before. So, thank you. It was a crazy experience. And it made me... You know, I really appreciate the audience I have, and it made me appreciate it even more. Like, it was weird, and, and it's an experience I never had before, and it's very hard for me to explain, but yeah. So, that's it. Now I am done making the video. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.